Hello there ladies and gentlemen, my name is Lord Exus and I want to welcome you all back to Minecraft Dungeons. So in this episode of Minecraft Dungeons we are going to be taking on the Fiery Forge. There isn't much to report between this and the last episode, apart from I messed up at the end of the last episode and said this would be episode 10. That was actually last episode. We all know how bad I am at keeping track, keeping count of exactly how many episodes I've done. That's why I tend not to uh, name them in the video while I'm doing the video, because I can't remember. My brain can barely function on talking while playing a video game, let alone actually playing the video game or naming specifics. So yeah, we're going to be jumping into the Fiery Forge today. The only difference to note here is I have a different weapon again because I've done some more grinding and we'll talk about that when we get in. So uh, let's just jump in and I'll explain. Okay, so here we are at the base camp and if I bring up the character sheet, yes, we now have this bad boy, the Battle Staff of Terror, which does 73 to 225 melee damage. Very, very good damage. Also, as an off-shot effect, uh, the defeated mobs explode. Not as much as TNT or anything. It's a small purple explosion. Uh, I hate the fact that it lists stylish combo there. I mentioned that about the normal Battle Staffs before. But I thought I'd equip this weapon specifically, uh, and very stupidly of myself, because it is the unique version of one of the newest weapons in the game. And I thought, oh, that's pretty cool. We can we can go forward with one of the newest weapons. It looks good. It actually performs pretty well. However, we only have thundering and chains on it. And that's a little bit of a problem. Because I'm going to suffer because of this. And I should have really noted and decided, okay, I'm not going to keep this. I should have just kept it in my inventory, shown you guys, and then sa uh, salvaged it. Simply on the basis that... I now have no life regen. I have no way to leech life off others. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's that's the main problem. Because it's going to make it hard for me going into fights with a lot of enemies. So, I expect to die a lot. Uh, I will turn the difficulty down as and where needed. Because uh, it's still going to be getting difficult now, guys. I've done, I done that um, the under temple or whatever it was called. The lower temple, sorry. A few more times, that's where I got this star from. I found another set of wither armor, which was worse than the one before, even though it was unique. Uh, I really wanted to put that on, because that has a life-leeching aura. But, um, no such luck. Anyway, I'm ready to get in. I hope you're ready to see how hilarious this could potentially be. So, yep, I had uh, done the lower temple a load more times, and we are ready to move on to the Fiery Forge. Let's look at story. The Fiery Forge, the beating heart of the Illager War Machine, is the source of the Arch Illager's, Illager Army's power. Vindicator axes, redstone golems, and enchanter spellbooks all originate from the fire of this fires of this vile place. This fortress has long been impossible to breach, and none would even dare try. But even in a place like this, must have a secret entrance. Okay, so this is uh, yeah, this thing. There is you can't select the two easiest difficulties. You can go down to three. Uh, because of our skill level, I guess, our power level. Okay. So we're going to try it on six. Hopefully I can get through it. It only has one artifact I am unaware of. And the gear and artifact power is 30 to 37. Well, we are at 32. If I went down to there, yeah. Uh, we're going to be doing this one so we can get some good gear, hopefully. And hopefully succeed. Let's do this thing. Forge, where the Arch Illager builds monstrous machines that devastate the villages of the overworld. He must be stopped. Strike with everything you've got and raise this forge to ruins. Oh my god. This looks like it's gonna be pretty hard. Okay. So we need to get into the Fiery Forge first. And everyone saw that massive redstone golem inside that doorway there. Let's not pretend we didn't see it, guys.
Okay, so far so Gucci. I don't think I've missed anything. Nice. That thundering or whatever that enchant, that lightning enchant is just doing me good. Help me out here. Nice, nice. Very good, very good. What have we got over here? Anything of interest? Secret chest? Standard secret chest, but still. Nice. Okay, it looks like this is the secret entrance to the Fiery Forge. Let's have it. Find the Forge cores. Oh, well that's a, that's a redstone golem. Or a little redstone golem. Okay, big open area. Lots of silver ingots lying around. Okay, what we got? Spider. Okay, another one. I'm just going to reveal the whole map as per usual. Uh, don't want any nasty surprises. This is a big area though. Nice, nice. Dropped a green down here somewhere. Here we go. Great hammer. Okay, we're going to start getting hammer weapons now. It's cool. Can't wait to see a unique one of them. Might be good for absolutely barreling through hordes of enemies. Especially if it has a ground pound type move or any sort of shockwave move. That would be awesome. Right, so. We're meant to go down, so I'm going up here, of course. Ah, some illagers. Haven't seen you guys in a in a hot second. Oh. Okay, so we did see briefly there. Ooh, secrets. How many secrets are in the level? Six. Six secrets. I've already found one, which was the the wooden chest. There's an item over here, apparently. Here we go. Okay, well, let's go and explore in here then. Wow, this looks pretty big in here as well. Okay. Chaining is quite handy, I have to admit, when it chains the enemy together. Um, stops me getting absolutely ruined, but I have to get in close anyway. So, it's a bit of a detriment in certain cases. Jesus, thank fuck that guy blew up with one of my arrows and knocked that creeper back, because it was coming for me and I was stuck in place. Uh, look at this. All these guys blowing up and causing more of them to blow up. I like it. I like it a lot. Nice. Golden chest. And we have a new green cutlass, but that's weaker than what I already have. Okay, so... Go. Can't actually go in here. It's just more lava. There's a couple of rooms over here, though. No. Bad creeper. 
I don't want to talk them up too early, so I'm not going to say anything, but there's an enemy type here that isn't here so far, and uh, I'm very happy about that. Thanking you. Missed, bitches. Ah, oh, they always manage to get me with one or two straight arrows if I come at them straight. Oh, okay. So there's nothing of particular interest in this room. Kind of a death ring. Didn't work out for them though. Okay. Just checking every little corner to make sure that I'm uh, I'm not missing any secret chests if I can help it. Nice picked up some armor there. It was too quick on the button, so I don't see what it was. I know it wasn't a unique. Nice, chain these guys up. Like it, like it a lot. Ooh! We picked up the Nameless Blade. Gonna have a look at that. Hopefully that can replace the staff. Okay, are we safe here? We're fairly safe here. Uh... No, it's shit. <laughs> uh, it's so bad. Oh my god. God, give me the worst unique in the game, right? Yeah, that is so bad. It does 54 damage. It weakens enemies' attacks and it's a reliable combo. Uh, it has committed and rampaging as well as poison cloud. Poison cloud's always good, but yeah, it is nowhere near a replacement for the battle staff of terror. So, what the hell? Did you just, did you both just run into the lava? Idiots, Eduardo and Dimitri, both of you. You've been eating too much of those mushrooms in the overworld, haven't you? Okay, well that's, uh, that's this boy clear by the looks of it. Yeah, I'd say that this map's clear. Well, apparently we could go further, not up here. Up the first tunnel. So, up here, but there's nothing. Okay, let's leave. Okay, back on further, deeper into the Fiery Forge. We have to find the forge cores. Lots of books here. Ooh, that's not good. Had to uh, crack out the uh Yeah, had to crack out the um, corrupted beacon for a bit there. You have to die, you're making this too hard. Jeebus. Come back, Dimitri. Uh, chained these guys up. Let's get rid of all these fuckers. There we go. Jesus Christ, I should have known these guys would be here.
Okay, big old clusterfuck there. Ooh. Did not see that. Where is he? Shit. There's another, there's another couple as well. It's not the button I meant to press. Jesus Christ, just about managed to get him. Just about. And we leveled up beautiful things. That's a free heal. Hmm. Seems like a strange dead end. Almost makes me wish you could do some ironing in this... Ironing? Mining? Ironing. Uh, mining in this game so we could get through... Uh, we could get through some of the walls here and find the secrets. But of course that'd be counterproductive to the game's mechanics since they want you to work for it. Okay. Slowly getting on. Okay, so we have to overload the cores. We are now in another massive section. So I'll go around and uh, clear out the enemies. We'll clear out the enemies and we'll overload the cores last. Or as we go, depending on how I feel. Okay, that's fantastic. We have our Corrupted Beacon at full. That's going to come in handy for if we get absolutely gang-banged into non-existence. Uh, and for a boss, specifically the Redstone Golem. Okay, well, there's... These guys are here already, so just... Uh, yeah, I'm going to start the way of that. Definitely start the way of that. That's, uh, that's not good. Playing a little bit of Bomberman here. Who remembers that game? Fucking loved that game. Awesome, those few were there. Ooh, looks like we have a, another dungeon down here. Just one. Oh, this is just one room, of course, because this is it's gonna be fun, isn't it? That's a lot of redstone. Ooh. Okay, so that wasn't so bad. Still got some basic reinforced mail, but, uh, yeah, it wasn't too bad. It was just one kill room, and, uh, yeah, I had fun with that. That's fine. 
Oh yeah, because this is uh, a little bit dodgy, this one. Over here. Jeebus. Okay. To the side. Ah, oh, of course you would stand there, Dimitri. I should have recalled him back, to be fair. He's not a smart boy. He's a good boy, not a smart boy. Okay. So this is a dead end. I know, Eduardo. We'll have Dimitri back in a minute, mate. There we go. Okay. Yeah, we're getting you out of the way this time, Dimitri. None of your silliness. Okay, we have one more core to do. And it looks like it's past this big room. Okay. Looks like they know we uh, screwed up screwed up the cores. So uh, we have to escape the forge now. Oh, that's a gate that can lock behind us. Uh, that's a redstone golem as well. It's not the redstone golem, but it's a redstone golem. Oh! Hammer of gravity. A unique... It is meant to be slightly weaker than what I have. Please be good. 108 melee damage pushes enemies. Great splash. And it has leeching. Oh. Oh. It does do less damage than what I currently have. But I don't think that's necessarily a problem. I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to salvage this boy. How close are we? Okay. The enemies aren't on top of me yet. Let's uh, let's give this a try. So leeching is of course what I want. We've got rampaging. Smite. I don't really like something that only does increased damage against one type of enemy. Especially at this point in the game. Uh, I'm probably going to go for rampaging. Let's have a go. Let's see uh, how this boy plays out. Oh, okay. Oh, it is literally a ground pound weapon. Okay, it's not... don't think it's necessarily my sort of thing. I will find wherever that fucking evoker is. There he is. Ah, oh, very clever, putting a wall up in front of you just as I was firing. So all, uh, all your character does with this is hit the ground. Kind of what I wanted, but not. Or kind of what I expected may happen, but I thought we'd at least swing side to side or something as well. Um, can't complain though, I wanted a different weapon, so... That shockwave really does help keep those enemies off balance, which is good. They can't... The, the enhanced enemies can't actually attack me. I actually like that. Okay, so it's it is an impressive stun. With leeching on top of that, it means I get, I get to stay alive. So oh shit. 
Where is he? He's there. There's another one. Get out. Oh, you need to fucking die. You are annoying. Enhancing anyone. You're not invoking anything. Or using your druid and shaman, pow shaman powers. There is another one though. None of that. Okay, we've covered all of that area. This way. This is the way. Nice. This is a dead end. Ah, chest. Secret. A, a different variant of the unique hammer I have. Ah, so in these corners are where the hidden secret chests are. Okay, what are we looking at? Chest open, two out of three. Secrets found, four out of six. So not as bad, but I was meant to be going into these corners and looking at these blue crystals. Okay, a bit late to know that now, but hey, you live and you learn. Sense a boss. And here he is, Red Throne Monstrosity. Okay, should not have used that straight away. This is going to be interesting. Ow, ow. Okay, Dimitri is back. And we're done. We defeated the Redstone Monstrosity. Uh, elite Power Bow. Oh. Oh, she's a beefy one. Yeah, she's nice. Okay, what do we have on this girl then? Uh... Similar stuff to before, but yeah, we are we are switching you out. That increases our gear score to 34 as well, which is very, very handy, of course. I'm just going to salvage that view. And what are we going to have here? We're going to have bonus shot, of course. What are we going to have here? You've got growing. Fire shot grows in the air, dealing extra damage to distant targets. Or ricochet. I quite like ricochet. Not going to lie about that. Okay, fantastic. So, our gear is better. Still not 100% liking the hammer. I'm quite fussy when it comes to weapons. I was hoping to find myself a scythe or something. Uh, something cool. Um, or, again, I've been a bit disappointed by everything since uh, a few episodes ago with the Nightmare's Bite. 
Oh, okay. We've still got to escape, guys, so uh, it's not actually over yet. Especially with you little fuckers around. Eat it. I've defeated the redstone monstrosity, so I don't need to worry too much. Oh, you. Every time those guys, those shaman, shamans, or whatever the fuck they actually are called. But actually, no, I'm going to look that up, you know, because I'm fed up of calling them one thing and uh, getting it wrong. I know the normal mage guys that empower... What are you doing? Just chilling out? I know it's hot here, but... Yeah, those uh, normal mage guys that empower the other normal soldiers, they are evokers. And that's what I keep saying about everything. Okay, let's kill some of the other guys that got to be over here. still hear more of you, I just don't know where you are. There is a bottom corner to this map. Maybe you guys are down here. No, not so much. Okay, well, we'll move on anyway. Yeah, none of that. Uh, is this the exit to the Fiery Forge? Use the mining left. Okay, let's see. It is! The Fiery Forge is destroyed. The war machines of the Illagers have been smashed. Okay, we only opened 67% of all chests. We took a hell of a lot of damage. We dealt nearly 100k damage and 115% of our projectiles hit. Okay, let's uh, get this chest open. A totem of regeneration that I'm actually not going to use. But, but thank fuck, we, uh, we got something. Uh, even though we're going to be salvaging it. So, yeah, let's salvage up all this stuff. So that was the redstone mines no sorry that was the fiery forge guys um that was pretty intense and i liked it i liked it it had enemies i didn't like but it didn't have the return of the enemies i disliked the most and i know the last level of the game will have those uh the last level of the game being called the obsidian pinnacle and we didn't have another thousand of these emeralds uh, it looks like there's not another secret level for the Fiery Forge. So, High Block Hall. We've got two more High Block Halls and then the Obsidian Pinnacle. Okay, that's cool. Because this one wasn't displayed before. That's fantastic. So, we still have two levels left, guys. Um, so, we might have a chance to find another secret level as well. Which is cool. Which is cool. But, yeah. There wasn't the return. The enemies I found the most annoying in the previous episode before this were, were the Necromancers. The Necromancers, resing the dead, they weren't too bad on their own, but the fact they put literally a wall of undead in front of them and then fired those green blasts actually hurt me quite a lot. Also, the other thing that was a pain in the ass, of course, was the little blue wispy things that were with them. I don't think they were created by the Necromancers. I don't know what they're called, they're some sort of spirit, but the blue fire they put dot you on the spot with is uh, really, really annoying, especially if there's spiders with them, which they clearly put them in combination with those, to stick you to the spot, so then you'll get burned. That was, uh, that was really annoying. Anyway, we have our cool new hammer, the Hammer of Gravity. Uh, I like it. I like its colour theme as well. I like the fact it has leeching as well, although it's a slow-moving weapon. It doesn't really suit our guy. I'm hoping to get... Either a scythe or some twin bladed sword soon, like twin daggers, or I don't think you can have, I don't think you can dual wield swords in this game, which is a shame. Uh, let's talk to the blacksmith quickly, because we have a lot of money to spend. And I know most of you are wondering why I'm going for weapons and armor rather than artifacts. Well, that's quite simple. I want weapons or armor of a higher of a higher level, especially armor right now. Okay, I don't think there's any such luck on here. Ooh! <laughs> Feral Soul Crossbow. We just spent all our money on this one. 
69 range damage, souls critical boost, plus two to souls gathering. Ugh. This one has... This is better. This is better in terms of what we have. It's got stronger charge attacks. It's got massive damage. I haven't used it, but you've got two enchantment slots. That is a shame. That is a shame. We actually got a unique that before the end of that last level, before the end of Fiery Forge, I could have used this unique. Uh, always the way, hey guys. Always the way. Especially since it gathers more souls for me, which will obviously help feed into my corrupted beacon. That I seem to keep calling the corrupted ore. But yeah, I watched the uh, episode, the previous episode back. And uh, yeah, sorry about that guys. I'm calling things by the wrong names. That seems to be, uh, seems to be a problem for me. Okay, and we got some twin daggers. The moon daggers are back. 38 melee damage, a soul's critical boost, dual wielding, and soul's gathering. Uh, if only you were the uh, nightmare bite. Because obviously they do a lot less damage. But the reason they do a lot less damage is because they hit much quicker. And they have, uh, they have less enchantments, unfortunately. I was just talking about how I wanted uh, some twin blades, but... Yeah, they're not good enough. Uh, the Souls critical boost is really, really cool. Um, I want to get... I don't think you can get that on the Nightmare. Nightmare's Bite. Which is a shame, because I, uh, I would really like... I'd really like that on there. Okay, two, two standard bits. Yeah, so I'm, I kind of keep getting what I want within reason, but it's not quite as good as what I need. Um, I do need to replace these soon with a different artifact. Because uh, I, I, I really like them, but they're, they're quickly becoming very, very weak. So, yeah, that's the thing. Okay, so in the next episode, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be going to High Block Halls and exploring exactly what that's like. And then, and then we are very, very near the end of the game. Okay. Well, I hope you guys have liked this video. I have very much enjoyed playing this. But I'm going to have to end the episode here. We're going to do one level per episode. So that's what we're doing. As usual, I've been your host, Lord Exus. And I'll see you guys in the next video. In a bit.